Welcome to this e-learning how to replace and synchronize the resolver on our Omniplus i machine. Warning! Read and fully understand the operator's maintenance and safety manuals before using or servicing this machine. Failure to follow operating, maintenance or safety instructions could result in serious injury. First switch off the machine. Lock the machine main switch for your own safety and the safety off the machine. After waiting for 3 minutes disconnect the cable of the broken resolver. Loosen the two holding bolts of the resolver stator. Remove the stator from the machine. Check where the marking on the resolver rotor is located and make a mark on the outside cover. We will use this marking as starting point to place our new resolver rotor back on the machine. Loosen the rotor holding bolt and remove the resolver rotor from the machine. Make sure that you don't lose the spacer rings that are placed behind rotor. Place the new rotor on the axis and align the marking on the rotor with the marking you've made on the machine. Please make sure you place the rotor facing the correct way, the markings should be facing the inside. Torque at a value of 9.5 Nm. Place the stator back on the machine and hand tighten the two holding bolts. And reconnect the resolver. Remember that you always change the rotor and stator together, they come as one package. Remove the padlock and start the machine again. Don't forget to press the power on button. Place the dial gauge on the machine. Open the machine break in the display. Move the reed towards his zero degrees point, so you are able to place the gauge more correctly. Place the gauge against the reed, make sure that the dial still has room to move in both directions. Turn the machine and watch the dial gauge moving. You will have to search for the point, off change. Turn until the dial moves to the other direction. This is your zero degrees point. Now place the machine exactly on this point. If you found this point, close the brake again, while still holding your wrench. Now you can turn the stator housing slightly up or down, until the machine terminal indicates the frontal dead point, 0 degrees. Torque the two resolver holding bolts on a value of 9.5 Newton meter. Now you are ready to start the machine again. Thank you for watching this short e-learning video. Questions or remarks? Please contact us.